Welcome back to the MathMind channel. In today's video, we are looking at a polynomial equation raised to the 9th degree with a square root number as the constant term. I believe this type of equation is called a nonic equation, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's briefly look at this equation. I have x to the power of 9 and x cubed. I think we will be able to use substitution to replace one with another. And also, I have 2013 and 2012, and we are going to have to find a way to link these two. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just let a to be equal to x cubed. From there, I can express my original equation as a cubed minus 2013a minus square root of 2012 equals to 0. From here, I want to relate 2013 and 2012. I can do that by simply letting 2013 to be 2012 plus 1. So, let's put that into our equation. Now, I have a cubed minus 2012 plus 1 multiplied by a plus square root of 2012 is equal to 0. Continue to work on the equation. Now I have a cubed minus 2012a minus a plus square root of 2012 equal to 0. If I consider this part and take out the common term, I have a multiplied by a square minus 2012 minus a plus square root of 2012 equal to 0. Or I can just simply put a bracket on the back and I can write that as a multiplied by a square minus 2012 minus a minus square root of 2012 equal to 0. And now what I need to do is to relate this part and this part right here. Let's take a moment to consider the expression of a square minus 2012. I can rewrite that as a square minus the square root of 2012 square. From there, I can use the formula of x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y, x minus y. So, this will become a plus square root of 2012 multiplied by a minus the square root of 2012. Let's apply that onto our equation. So what I have now is a multiplied by a plus square root of 2012 multiplied by a minus square root of 2012 minus a minus square root of 2012 equal to 0. From here, you can clearly see that I have the common term of a minus square root of 2012. We are now ready to do our factorization. Let's go ahead and do that. Isolating the common term, which is a minus square root of 2012 multiplied by a, a plus square root of 2012 minus 1 equal to 0. So now we have two components A and B minus each other equal to 0, meaning either A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0, and we are ready to move ahead and solve this equation. Let's consider the first scenario, a minus 
the square root of 2012 equal to 0. From here, a is equal to the square root of 2012. Keep in mind, at the beginning, we have set a to be equal to x cubed. So from here, I can say x cubed is equal to 2012 square root, which is equivalent to 2012 to the power of 1 over 2. In order to calculate the value of x, I'm going to put a cube root on the left hand side and I'm going to do the same thing to the right hand side. The cube and the cube root will cancel each other so what I have now is x is equal to 2012 to the power of 1 over 6 or we can write that as 2012 to the 6 root. That's our first answer. In the second scenario, I have a multiplied by a plus square root of 2012 minus 1 equal to 0. From here, I have a square plus 2012a minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's try to solve this quadratic equation. I have a equal to negative square root of 2012 plus minus our discriminant which is the square root of 2012 square minus 4 minus 1 divided by 2 times 1. This works out to be minus 2 square root of 2012 plus minus square root of 2016 divided by 2. If we consider A to be negative square root of 2012 minus square root of 2016 divided by 2, then a is equal to negative square root of 503 minus 6 times square root of 14, and x will be the cube root of this expression, which is equal to approximately negative 3.554 and on the other scenario I have a equal to negative square root of 2012 plus square root of 2016 divided by 2 that's, e that's equal to 6 times square root 14 minus square root of 503 and x will be a cube root of that which is approximately 0 0.281 feel free to check me on those numbers so let's summarize what we have so far we have three values for our answer of x and one of them is 0 0.281 the second one is negative 3.554 and the final one will be 2012 to the power of 1 over 6 i thank you for watching this video have a good day take care goodbye